Uh, in this tutorial, I will give an overview of how you can use uh, the formula node in a lab view. So here you see the formula node. So when you are in your block diagram in a lab view, you can select the structures palette and then you find the formula node here. And basically the formula node is used to create uh, different types of formulas, formulas, uh, different types of scripts, etc. And here you use ordinary text-based uh, programming language. So the syntax here is ordinary C uh, programming. So instead of using uh, the different blocks in LabVIEW to create formulas, etc., you can just use the formula node. And then inside the formula node, you just use ordinary C uh, sharp syntax in order to create your formula, your scripts, your mathematical expressions, etc. And in the formula node, you have also lots of built-in functions that you can use. Here you see some examples. And also you have to be aware of, since this is a C syntax, you need to use a semicolon after each line uh, like this. So here you see a basic example. So here I have the, for, uh, the front panel. I have two. Here I have a numeric control and here I have a numeric in, uh, indicator and I want to implement this basic formula using the formula node. So here on the block diagram, I have inserted the formula node and then just inside the formula node, I just type the formula and then end with a semicolon. And then since I want to change uh, X, this is the input. And then I want to present Y, which is the output. Then I have these X and Y here on the front panel. And then I define X as an input. I just right click on the border and select input and then just enter x and then wire the x uh, numeric control to this uh, border and the same for y i just right click here and select add, uh, add output and then just wire this one to the y numeric indicator so let's go to uh, the lab view programming environment and create this basic uh, formula so now I have opened my LabVIEW programming environment. Here I have the front panel, which I create the graphical user interface. And here I have the block diagram where I actually create the code. So then I start with the front panel. I just start by creating a numeric control, which it should be X, and then a numeric indicator, which should be the output of the formula, and Y, like this. And then I go to the block diagram, then I just right click here, select structured, and then this formula node, I just drag it like this. And then X should be an input, and then Y should be an output, so then I put inputs on the left side, and then outputs on the right side. Then I just click here on the border, select add input, and then just type X, and then I just wire those two together like this. And I do the same for y, add output, and then type y, and then wire those together like this. So now I have established the input and the output, and now I just need to write the formula. I can also click here on the border, visible items, um, label. I can also show the scroll bar here if necessary. If you have a large script, then you can have scroll up and down here. You can also show, choose to show uh, line numbers. Then you have line numbers here on the left side. So then just start creating this basic formula. Y equals to 3 times x plus 2. And then I just need to have a semicolon at the end like this. And then I can have some spaces here to like this. So basically this is the formula. I can also uh, click on the border here and select a different uh, font size. Let's say this one, then you can see the formulas more easily. So then basically we have now created and used a formula node to implement a very basic formula. Of course, this is a very basic formula. Uh, you don't need to use the formula node for such basic formulas, but typically you have more advanced formulas and then you can have multiple lines here. You can have two, three, or even 100 uh, lines here in your um, your script. And you can also use many of the built-in functions. 
So then if I just click Control H and then find this content uh, uh, help and then click on the border and you see you get information regarding the formal node and then you can also click on detailed help. Then you will open your default web browser and then you will get detailed information regarding the formula node and all the built-in uh, functions that you can use when creating your uh, formulas and your script. I will show some of these built-in uh, 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 functions uh, later. But now let's test our formula. So then I just enter a value for um, x, let's say 3, and then click on the run button. And then you see um, y is here calculated based on this formula. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is actually 11. So you see it, our formula is working as expected. So if you see here, if I um, remove this semicolon, then you see I will get an error message here. So now the formula is not working and then I can just click on this one and then typically you will get some information what's wrong in your code and then you see here easily formula node missing semicolon and then I just try to double click on it and then I can just go in here and enter a semicolon like this. So this is how you use uh, the built-in formula node in LabVIEW. It's a powerful node that you can use to create advanced mathematical expressions. You can use it for simulations or other uh, scripts that you want to make and use within your LabVIEW programming environment. So now let's see how we can implement a more advanced equation. So here you see an example of a more advanced mathematical uh, equation or formula. So f of x is equal to this uh, quite large um, expression. And here you see uh, there are also uh, lots of uh, functions used in this formula. Uh, logarithm, sine, cosinus, pi, etc. And then assume, um, and then we have these constants a, b and c. I assume you, have, you can set a equals to 1, b equals to 3, c equals to 5. Or even better, you can change these values from your graphical user interface or your front panel in LabVIEW. And then just to test the formula, set x equals to, to 9, and then we should expect this, this uh, value. So let's implement this formula in uh, LabVIEW. So here you see how you can do it. So I have used the formula node, and then I have added inputs here on the left side. So then we have inputs for a, b, and c, and then for the x, the variable, and then an output is the function, the answer to the formula. And then here on my fr uh, front panel, I have numeric controls for x, and then a, b, and c. So then I can easily change the values for the constants in the formula a, b, and c here on the front panel and also the input variable x and then when I click on the run button the output of the formula f will be calculated. So let's implement this formula in, in LabVIEW. So then we are back in the LabVIEW programming environment. Here I have my front panel and my block diagram. So then let's start creating these uh, numeric controls. Then you have the x and then you have the uh, constants a, I can just copy it, a, b, and c, like this. So this is b, and this is c, and then you have the numeric indicator, which is um, y, or in this case, just uh, f. f of x, uh, like this. So now you have created the necessary front panel, and I can also type a start value for this uh, a, b, c, constant, so I suggest a equals to 1, b equals to 3, and then c equals to 5, and then we should calculate x when x equals to 9. And then when you are finished, we should get the result here in this numeric indicator. Now let's start creating the formula now. So then we have f of x on the right side, and then we have this x and the constant here on the left side, and then you, we just right click structures formula node and then we put it here like this. Since this will be a quite um, a large formula, we just make it something like this. Just adjust 
like this. And then we have space to put in the large form here. So then I add this as an input. Add input x, write it like this. And then I do the same for a, b, and c. Add input a, b, and then finally c, like this. And then I'll put f, like this. And then to save some time, I just created the formula already. And I also here can right uh, click on the border to select a larger font size like this, or even larger. So now, just improve the block diagram here to so see the entire formula. So you see this is a quite long formula like this. So now we have implemented this formula inside the formula node and then we have the inputs and outputs and also right click here visible uh, items and the label and then we have made the formula and now let's just try uh, to run the application so now x equals to 9 and then we have a b c and then hopefully uh, we should get the proper value here in f of x and this is the expected value so then we see that this formula is working as expected and then we have used lot of built-in functions like logarithm um, sinus pi cosinus etc and then in order to get an overview of all these built-in functions you can just click ctrl h and then click on the border of the formula node and then you click on detail help in order to get an overview of all the built-in functions and how to use them so now we have implemented a qu quite advanced formula using this formula node and it's easy to um, make some spelling mistakes here uh, missing a parentheses or whatever missing semicolon or whatever so typically you want to simplify the equation so like this so this is the original equation and then as you see this expression goes again here and here and here so then we can just define this as a sub function and then we can implement the function like this instead so then we implement this function g of x which is here here and here and then we just set g of x equals to this expression which is this expression and then we also define a variable here g float g and remember the semicolon and then we have g and then the formula becomes like this so then by splitting up the function like this it's easier to to write the function without any error so let's uh, do that as well uh, so let's open the lab view programming environment so in order to save some time i have just just copied the code like this and then you see now the formula becomes much neater then we can make this smaller like this the formula is the same but now we have split it up into this sub function called g which is uh, defined as a variable here and then the expression for g is here and then we are using g here here and here and then the main formula becomes easier with less um, possibilities to write any error so then let's just hope this gives the same error so for x equals to 9 we should get 0 0.0.43 etc and then let's just run it and then you see we get the same results but the formula becomes easier to to implement and easier to understand like this so now we have implemented this formula using the formula now so let's assume that we want to plot this uh, function in uh, labview so then we can do like this so here you see the updated uh, user interface i have created a waveform graph here and then i have made a sub vi of this formula node so this 
So we are here is we actually this one, and then this will be inputs to the survey and this will be output from the survey. So this is implemented here, and then you can set the variables, sorry, the constants A, B, C here on the outside, either as constants or you can put them here on the front panel as well, depending on your need. And then inside the formula node, I have put this. Uh, sorry, inside this for loop, I have put this formula node sub vi, and then also I have set some start value, sub value, and increment value that define the the, the x-axis, the starting point of the x-axis, and the end point, and how many data points I should plot here in in this graph, and then. Uh, basically, um, let's see how we can implement this in uh, in LabVIEW. So then I have the formula here. So then the first thing I need to do is to save this as a survey or a function. So then I can just um, save it as advanced formula or whatever, or go find a better name. like this, and just save it, and then I need to make a survey of this, and then it will have four inputs and one output, so then I just need to right click here, patterns, and then I select a proper patterns with uh, four input and one output, and then I just start by defining the inputs x, a, b, and c, and finally the output, F like this. So basically now I've created a sub I can also create an icon here while double click on this one. And here you have the icon editor. Here you have lots of options to create a nice icon. I just typically just remove everything, make a nice border, and then you can type either some text inside here, lines, whatever. You can use some of the icons, pre-built icons here. Or you can just type some text, so then I just type f, f of x, like this. I can increase the font, etc., change the font color, whatever. But basically, now I've made a basic icon, and then it appears here um, in this upper right corner. So now, we have made a sub-vi for this formula, and then I just create a new vi. And then start making this for loop like this. And then I need to use my formula within this um, for loop. And I just drag it like this. And then start using my formula inside the for loop. And then on the front panel here, I need to make this graph. So then I just use the waveform graph, which I find here, like this, and then I need to make the necessary inputs here on my front panel. So then I can have uh, here I can uh, need to specify x. So in order to save some time, I have already made these functions over here. I have the waveform graph, I have the start value, stop value on the x-axis, and the increment value, which I have defined as um, numeric controls here, and I'm using them here. I'm also setting, as is this increment, I need to make a property node. In order to make this property node on the graph, I just right click on it and select create uh, property node and then typically on here on the x scale you have um, sorry here on the so you right click here select property node and then you have lots of property nodes on here on the x scale you have uh, offset and multiplier which I using I just select it like this and then you see it becomes like this so then this, this increment 
needs to be put into the multiplier here in order to make the x scaling here uh, correct um, on the plotting. And then I also made another sub vi just to make an array of x values based on the start value, stop value and the increment value. So if I set typically here start value between minus 2 and 2 and the increment like this then basically this function will create an array of x values uh, according to this so now i don't show the entire one so let's go to zero here so then make it a little bit bigger like this so then you see it starts on minus 2 and then minus 1.9 etc up till 2 basically I made this basic function that create an x vector x uh, x vector from the start value to the stop value to uh, using this increment value so let's set set it from 0 to 2 and then run it and then you see it starts on 0 1 point, uh, 0 0.1 etc up till 2 like this this is a handy function to make it's quite easy to make it like this just using a for loop like this so this is uh, a sub function that creates the x array or vector like this so i use it here as an input to the for loop and then this will be used in this formula that we have created as a sub vi and then in each iteration it will use this um, use the x in this array one by uh, first it use zero then it use uh, 0.1 etc here and then it will uh, calculate the corresponding f value and then finally when the loop is finished it will plot all the values here in the plot so then just Let's run it like this, and then we can change the start value, stop value, etc. from uh, minus 1 to 4, and then click start, and then you see, based on the start value, stop value, and the increment value, we will be able to plot the output of the function f in this uh, waveform graph. So this is a uh, example how you can use the formula node and put it into a sub vi and then use that sub vi as part of your main program uh, like this and then you can plot it or use it in other ways like this finally i will show how you can use the formula node to simulate a first order system so here we have a basic uh, differential equation which you have here and then we can just in this uh, simulation example we can set a equals to 0 0.25 and b equals to 2 and then we can also have these on the front panel so it's possible to change these values inside uh, the differential equation so in order to simulate this equation this differential equation in the lab view we need to make a discrete uh, version of that equation so here you see how you can make a discrete uh, equation on based on this differential equation so we typically use the Euler approximation like this and then we apply this approximation on this equation and then we get this equation and then we just end up with this final uh, uh, discrete version of the differential equation and this equation can be easily implemented in any text-based programming language or as in our case using the formula node in labview so here you see an example of this application so we have used an x y graph here to plot the simulation results and here we have used the formula node to implement this equation so we have defined uh, the model parameters a and b here and we have some simulation parameters um, start value stop value etc and then finally inside a for loop here we have implemented 
the actual equation. So this is the actual, uh, actual equation that is implemented as part of this for loop like this. So let's go to Labio. I will not make this from scratch, but I will just demonstrate the application. So here you see the Labio application. So basically it's just a um, simple graphical user interface or front panel using this XY graph, which you find here. Here, this is the XY graph. Basically it plots X versus Y. And then here you see the block diagram, which is an implementation of this um, discrete version of the differential equation which you find here and then here is the entire script implemented in the formula node and then I just use made two outputs T which is here on the x-axis and then X is the output or uh, or the results of the, um, this equation which is plotted here on the y-axis and then I just use the bundle function, which you find here when you right click, cluster, and then bundle. So then I bundle the x axis, which is t, and the y axis, which is actually x in this case, bundle it, and then just wire it to the x y graph, then like this, and then I can just run it, and then you see it will uh, give a t vector and output on based on this, this uh, discrete equation like this. So this is a, a good example how to use the formula node to make more advanced simulation examples and then just plot it and make a graphical user interface here in, in LabVIEW. I can also improve it of course to make um, A and B as inputs and then I can have A and B here as an input so you can change them during uh, execution of your program. So let's see how you can do that. So here you see I have made A and B here. This was the values we was using. And now I have removed them here and put them as inputs here. So when I use the same values for X and B, uh, sorry, for A and B, of course we get the same value, but I can change it here to, to another value. And then of course we will get another results on our simulation. Like this. Change B as well, and then based on A and B, we will of course get another results for our simulation. So basically, this is how you can use a formula node to make a more advanced expression as part of your LabVIEW uh, program. So that was our final application uh, using the formula node. Typically, we use the formula node for more advanced expressions that you cannot so easily implement in pure uh, lab code and then we have this formula node where you can implement um, text-based formulas uh, like this and uh, in the formula node there are lots of built-in functions that you can use so just make sure click ctrl h and then on the formula node you have detailed help and then your web browser will open with lots of information and resources regarding the formula node and then you will get a list of all the available functions that you can use, etc. In addition to the formula node, we have also something called a MATLAB script, which is can be used for even more advanced simulations. So here we have even more power. In the MATLAB script, you can, instead of using C sharp syntax and a limited set of functions, you can use the entire uh, MATLAB syntax in order to implement a quite advanced script here and then use it in your lab program you can add inputs and outputs and create a graphical user interface for your simulations and for your scripts here in in lab so you find the matlab matlab script here under mathematics scripts and formula and then script nodes and then you have the matlab script here but of course you need to have a, va a valid uh, license of your MATLAB software in order to use this MATLAB script within your LabVIEW application. Thank you and goodbye.